So we're down here in Florida and we're stuck in this house. We've been stuck in this house pretty much the entire week waiting to play the World Series. We came down early so that we could get some time in working together before we step on the field. This hurricane has been awful being stuck in this house for this long with these people. Um, I really like this team, but to spend a week in a house and you can't leave with a group of 20 to 40 year old women and you are one of like three or four men is brutal <laughs> to say the least made it the deadliest storm to hit that state in nearly nine decades. Uh, upgraded there to the hurricane. What more do we know? We're watching Ian approach here. Give us a sense of where you are watching. More than four inches of rain have already fallen in South Carolina. It's That's right, in hurricane force. Uh, we're thinking of you, and we're not leaving. We're not leaving until this. But even as white caps ripped across the lake in Anthony Grande's backyard, he was chilled out in front of the TV. Oh, you can't so much faster. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. I went to grab it and it was greasy and I was like, what the oh, heck is this? I wanted to get down here and practice before the World Series so that we gave ourselves the ability and we felt ready to go into the World Series. All right. Get the out. Get up on the plate and get that rock. Base is loaded. Strikes. Strikes. Make sure it's a strike. I feel very confident in our team going into the World Series, and I feel like we're prepared. But we are raring to go. We're excited to get down to Florida. We're excited to get into the World Series. Um, and this will be our fifth in a row. So this is my first uh, first year with La Familia, and I've heard that they are on a winning streak when it comes to the World Series. I've won Worlds twice in my previous career, so being a part of this soon-made history uh, with this streak, um, it's pretty exciting. Um, it's something that no one ever done before, so I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen on Sunday. We won those four back to back to back to back. No one had ever done that and no one has surely ever won the World Series after winning those and jumping up a level each year. Uh, so this will be very special. I don't know that it will ever be done again. It means the world to us. It means, it means a great deal to me. Um, over the last five years I have gone through a tremendous amount personally and this has been the one thing that has kept me moving in the right direction. I think the importance of winning the fifth year is to show the culture and what we stand for works and what we put all of our time and effort in and our sacrifice is worth it and to show that we are truly the legacy of being able to build a team, prepare, and accomplish what we need to accomplish. I think it's a legacy. I think it's something that nobody ever thought that we could do. Nobody ever thought last year that we were gonna we were gonna win A when we lost one of the games early on in the tournament and we had to double dip. We had come through the losers bracket and we came into the championship game and I don't think anybody thought we were gonna win. So it's just always kind of been that way with this team. We we take a bunch of people that nobody's ever heard of and we create a dynasty and that's that's kind of what's happened here and, and we do it through hard work and that's what makes it so exciting and so important is that. So this is my fourth in a row and this will be my last. I will be retiring after this one. Um, it's a bittersweet. Um, I never, when I started this, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I never thought that um, I would win one, much less be working on my fourth. Um, every year Tom asked me, do you believe me yet? And I tell him no, and I still don't. 
<laughs> um, it's a bittersweet. Uh, I'll be leaving the game that I've played for a long time. Um, but it's time for me to give to my little one. That makes me kind of <laughs> emotional. But he's five and he's playing football and baseball now. So it's his turn, not mine. <laughs> Softball has made me realize that women are by far tougher than men. Uh, watching them do the things that they do while taking care of children, taking care of whoever their significant other is, while managing everything around them, and still playing and having all those distractions is really an impressive thing to watch. Playing in male sports growing up uh, definitely humbled me, um, but it also drove me as well. I wanted to be better than them. Um, just because I was a girl didn't mean that I couldn't do the same things that they could do. I definitely turned a lot of heads. I proved a lot of points. Um, and I still try and do that today. <laughs> what people don't realize in slow pitch is it's not a bunch of people out there drinking beer at the highest level playing. These are Division One athletes. And when people think of slow pitch softball, they think, oh, slow pitch softball it comes in 15 to 18 miles an hour underhand. Um, you know, it's looked down upon almost, not realizing that it's a completely different game than anything you've ever played in your life. It's not just about hitting the ball and hard and far. In baseball, you know, a good average is 300. Or in fast pitch, a good average is 300. In slow pitch softball, you have to hit 700 to be good. So imagine this, imagine being July or August in Florida, you're going into a tournament. If you lose your first game, you have to win 20 in a row to get back to the championship in two days. So your body has to be ready to do that. And if one of the things that happens, a lot of these teams won't prepare themselves or their bodies to be able to go through a run like that. And then when they lose early in the tournament, even if they're really gifted, they can't make it all the way back because they run out of gas. With La Familia, we, do a lot off the field. For us, it's taking BP during the week, it's working out, it's putting the extra work in. Obviously, we're from all over the place, so there's no practicing, there's no getting ready. So in order to be accountable for ourselves, we do it on our own to where when we do come together, you know the work that everyone's put in. We take it very seriously, um, accountability, responsibility, it's all, it's all incorporated in the culture. It's something that, you know, it's a non-negotiable. Some people fit, some people don't, but we, we really truly believe that that's what makes us so successful. So since joining La Familia um, and having a conversation with Tom about potentially being on the team, um, I knew that it was going to be a lot of work. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, a lot of work ball wise and that's good and great I've done that all my life I play college ball I can be in the gym I can hit I can work out whatever and what I wasn't um, ready for was the work off the field with La Familia comes a pretty uh, I guess aggressive could be a good word to use um, work regimen uh, weekly so you know depending on the week and our travel schedule we'll do anywhere from uh, three BP, well, one if we're traveling early in the week to three BP sessions a week and usually around three to five workouts a week as well. So, <laughs> special visitor. I've always been structured in my life. So coming on this team, um, everybody holding each other accountable. Um, it was something that I was looking for. La Familia has an excellent workout regimen that um, the team does, I think. It allows our team to be very athletic and competitive on the field. Um, I come from a background where I've been working out my whole life, and so I was working out probably six days a week before I started playing on the team, and it was nice to join a team where there were like-minded individuals that enjoyed working hard on and off the field. We are very lucky to have someone on our team to be able to make workouts for us all and kind of personalize them for each and every one of us, and we get to be in the best shape we can be in to play in this heat and this softball, which gives us sort of an advantage over people who don't. Being a strength and conditioning coach and working with my team has been great. Um, it's definitely had its challenges because I am used to working in person for majority of my 
experience, my career, uh, a lot of it has been in person. So for us, it's turning in those videos just so that I can watch their form and break it down if they need to adjust anything. I can help them from the videos. So that's why the videos are so important for me also for them, but I try and teach them what they're doing wrong if they are doing something wrong. So that way they can learn how to fix it. And again, it's hard to do that via videos, but it's definitely taught me to kind of adapt to that, adapt to uh, everybody's surroundings, what they have access to, and be able to just be more adaptive for me as well uh, to help them with whatever they need to work on. What people also don't realize is there's a career to be had in slow pitch softball if you are one of the best players on the men's or women's side. So if you put in the work, you can get to a point where you can actually have a career in this with some of the biggest companies that aren't just involved in fast pitch or baseball, but they're also involved in slow pitch. You know, the company Rawlings is huge in, in, in the MLB, right? But they're also huge in softball, they own the three biggest brands in slow pitch, slow pitch, Easton, Worth, and Mikan. They own those brands, and then they have a budget for those brands, and they build teams with those brands, and then they, they hire people to represent those brands in this game. So there's a lot more here than people actually realize. Well, I, I would say sponsors are looking for people to represent them in the way that they, I mean, that they feel players should and teammates should. Um, I've been lucky enough, I think, in my time playing softball to have a lot of really great sponsors. Um, this is my first year with La Familia, but the Worth product is unbelievable. <laughs> um, really enjoying um, uh, that, that stuff and just, you know, trying to put forth, you know, our best as players um, to represent those brands for those sponsors is really big. Being sponsored by Worth has been amazing. Before I tore my ACL, I was swinging the watermelon. I love that bat. Currently, I am back to a creature, just so that I can control my hands better with my load from my leg. It has definitely been a transition to relearn how to hit um, and use my whole body again. For the teams that who don't have sponsors, I've been on a team who don't have sponsors, and it's, it's very hard. So having them, um, it's been very easy. Uh, for us as major softball players to play the sport that we love so much. Sponsors are looking for that selflessness and just a, a, always appreciation, a little bit of thank you here and there. Um, they do a, a big thing for us. I know that as far as La Familia goes, we would not be where we're at without those specific sponsors. I think sponsors are looking for you to show your gratefulness of their support through your actions so that would be the way that we work hard uh, every single day our hitting requirements our uh, workouts to show that you're appreciative of something is, a, is an action so I think that culture is instilled in us uh, through La Familia I, I don't think that sponsors would ask for anything else so we are the flagship team for worth being the flagship team I feel like comes with a lot of responsibility as far as you are the chosen face that this million dollar company has chose to put out in front of you know the world it's on all their social media you are you're it and i think the responsibility not only comes on the field and how you perform and how you play um, but it comes off the field and how we carry ourselves as a team as a unit having them choose us you know it's a sense of pride for us because they they see something in us there's different types of sponsors. There are sponsors that sponsor with equipment. There are sponsors that sponsor with apparel. There are sponsors that just sponsor the game because they love it. Some people have no return on investment that sponsor the game. They're just involved because they love it. Gina and I have sponsored teams over the years simply because we love the game. There is no monetary income for us from this. But there are companies out there that choose to sponsor your team because they feel they want you to represent their brand. That's a special thing because not everybody gets that. There are thousands of teams in slow pitch softball from the E level to D to C to B to A to double A to major. 
and a lot of those teams don't have any sponsorship whatsoever. And then there are teams like ours that are extremely fortunate. We, as a team, as an organization, are extremely grateful for those companies.